Hey guys, it's Nate Picos of Blambot. And in my last couple of videos, I showed you the results of some Adobe Illustrator actions. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to sort of explain what actions are. They're things you do in Illustrator all the time that might take several keystrokes or digging through menus. And you can automate those. You record them as an action and you can play them back with the press of a single F key. This is incredibly helpful when you're trying to save time. You know, as we all know in lettering, time is money. So, uh, and, oh, and also they could, they don't have to be terribly elaborate things. They could be one or two steps that maybe you do 600 times a day. And if you can condense those all down to a single keystroke, you're still saving yourself a lot of time. So I'm gonna open Illustrator here and I'm gonna close this for now. Uh, what we have here is my map of my current uh, actions and particularly this top row is stuff I use constantly um, and eventually it becomes muscle memory. You don't, you, you don't even remember what the original keystrokes were that made up these actions. You just know that without even looking down if you hit a certain one you're going to get a certain thing. So today I thought we'd do sort of a simple effect to outline a sound effect. Um, that you can record. It's just a few steps and you'll get the idea of how to record something. So let me close this up and here we are in my um, default lettering template in Illustrator. This is Illustrator CC and these are all the different um, elements that I use to make a style guide when I start lettering a new book. I pick and choose the things I all gonna, I'm gonna need and I delete the rest so it's not always this you know chock full of stuff. But anyway, here's some here's a sound effect I started to put together, and this is using my font um, Brush Zerker, and I just sort of you know broke it apart and staggered it and made it sort of more dynamic. But um, you know, the first thing, let's just fill it with a color. So, window, actions, and we'll get the actions window, and you can see here's all the stuff I have recorded, and some of it's really complicated steps um, like this whole list of telepathy things and some of it's not you know image trace is simple and release compound shape it's just things I don't even want to look at a menu for if I can just click a key and have it done so we're gonna start a new one so we go down to this little create new action folded paper icon hit that and you get new action and if you want to fill this information out now you can but you don't have to you can right mouse click the finished uh, recording in the action menu and just assign all that stuff then. But for now, uh, F7, Shift F7 is blank in my menu, so we'll use that. And I could title it something, you know, like sound effect outline or whatever. So you hit record. Now everything you do after you hit record until the hit time you hit stop record is going to get recorded. But you got to keep a good eye on this menu as it records because sometimes Illustrator is a little finicky. There are things it won't record. Uh, which you know you're not going to find out until you're in the middle of recording. And if you get a big, you know, set of things you're, you're trying to accomplish, like this telepathy thing over here, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to stop and re-go, re, uh, re-record. Or worse yet, find a way around the thing that the action menu won't record. So anyway, hit record. All right, so we have this yellow sound effect, and I want to put a black outline around it, and maybe stagger that outline just a little bit. Now here is that action. It's blank. It's going to start recording the second I do something. So we're going to do offset path on this because I typically do offset path um, instead of a stroke on my sound effects. So object, path, offset path, and we'll just keep it. It's def set default at one. We'll keep it for that for, at that for now. So there you go. I got my little offset path. Now I'm going to fill that with black over here in my swatches menu. And then what I want to do, I'm going to zoom way in and offset this just a little bit. Like say that much. Now see it recorded that. Offset path swatches move. And now we'll hit stop. So stop playing recording. So that's it. This action is done. So what happens is, so here's that, here's what that looks like now. And if I go down to this one, which is just a copy of the original, and I hit that, so this is what we've got, 
and I want to do that outline, I hit Shift F7, and there you go. All that was done that fast. And that's a simple action.